Hi there. My name is Donna Peterson, and today we are talking about prompt engineering. I know that is a scary term and a term I don't like to use very much because it sounds like we all need to be software engineers to understand how to use prompt engineering. But today I wanted to bring you through three examples on how you can use prompt engineering to get out better results. How many of you have put a prompt into chat GPT and the response was weak? You look at it saying, why is everyone talking about AI and chat GPT? This doesn't help me at all. It's too elementary. By the time I go through and continue to talk to it back and forth, which I always mention to my audience, it'll be hours. Forget this. This doesn't work. Well, today I want to show you how to make it work. And like I said, I just did a podcast all about prompt engineering. Now is the time to embrace it because of the things that you can do. One, it'll save you time. You don't have to put in large descriptions and your team can use the same prompts that you create so that everyone is putting in the exact same information. It's not like someone put only the title and industry in, but they put in the employee size. Now everyone will have to answer the questions to get out a universal response. Let's share my screen. I wanted to show you exactly how I did this with three different prompts here. On my screen for chat GPT, it's, I put it into a project, my prompt engineering project. And let's start right here with writing a auction email. If you go and you put in, I wrote this simple, very basic prompt, write an email about an upcoming auction. And then it comes back with, don't miss this opportunity, upcoming auction featuring these pieces of equipment or assets. I wanted to let you know, blah, blah, blah. Very straightforward, very basic. Are you going to get a good response from this? No, because you're too generic. You're not telling them enough about the auction. You're not pulling them in. Now we talk about getting a more developed prompt, telling it you are an industrial auction company writing to manufacturer executives about how they can purchase the equipment they need Draft a 150-word email inviting them to a late model CNC equipment auction in Boston, Massachusetts. Use a professional approach. Make sure it's approachable with that tone. Three bullet points to highlight the equipment categories and tell them of the benefits for the auction. You have to remind them sometimes of those benefits that it will get into the facility quicker and it will be less expensive. After that prompt, I then get this nice polished email, which any manufacturer who received this email would be more apt to click because it gave them more details, highlighting specific things that are in the auction, telling them about how the equipment you need, it's going to be faster into your facility and how it's going to be at the fraction of the cost. Making this email more robust higher chances that they'll respond because you're giving them all the details. Another way that I like to use prompt engineering, this is one of my fun ones, instead of having to write those big, long paragraphs, you can start to set up words that will be your prompt. Here, I'm setting up one that's called my trade show prompt. You are a marketing strategist for a specific industry. Identify 10 top rated trade shows in North America for a specific industry or a product happening in the next 12 months. Provide the event name, the dates, the location, estimated attendance, and a short description on why it's worth you attending. Exclude outdated or inactive events. You always have to tell it that so that they make sure they don't put it there. Even the information you get back, make sure you double check it. But this gives you a starting point. 
the prompt for the future. And now I show it exactly how I want it to be with their headers at the top. And I said, for this example, use the metalworking industry and its fabrication equipment. It comes back with this Excel spreadsheet that shows me everything from the trade show names to the dates, to the location. So it has the trade show names, the dates, the location, the estimated attendance, and a short description. Let's close that back up. I've created an Excel spreadsheet. There it is. You can download it. So then it gives me a download Excel spreadsheet that I can have for future use. And I, it says, would you like to save this template as your trade show prompt? I said, yes, save it as my trade show prompt. Got it. It's saved. I put it into an Excel spreadsheet that I share with my team. So now if they go and put trade show prompt, they all they have to do is put the industry and the product type and they'll get a listing of it. Just like I did here, I said trade show prompt for pharmaceutical industry and it's laboratory equipment. And again, it comes back with the breakdown of the trade show names, the dates, the location, the estimated attendance, and a short description why. This does two things for us. One, as an individual, it saves me time. I don't have to go right in that whole paragraph each time telling it how I want the Excel spreadsheet to be formatted. It's done for me once. Now all I have to do is enter two words, trade show prompt. It's also good because, as I mentioned, I can pass this out to my team, same thing. They know now they only have to put the industry and the type of product for the trade show, and they'll get a listing of the trade shows that they should look at. Great time saver, and it helps us all be on the same page. The last example I wanted to show you today, and I love this one. This was from Jules White from Vanderbilt University, gave me this idea. I just took several of his courses on AI and prompt engineering, and he does it for travel itinerary. So let me go all the way up here to top. I said travel itinerary prompt. I'm traveling to put a location for the purpose I have blank number of days and want to maximize my experience based on preferences. What do I like to do when I'm there? Create a detailed itinerary with activities, the estimated travel time, and tips. Format this in a day-by-day -day schedule. For this example, I'm putting my location as Chicago, Illinois. I'll be there for six days, and I want outdoor activities. And it comes back. And it's giving me day one, morning, afternoon, evening, tips, what to wear. But you don't have to follow this exactly the way it is. But it's already giving me ideas of things I should do when I'm in Chicago that sticks with my preference of doing outdoor activities. And it goes through all six days, plans it out. And then it says, would you like to have this as a reusable template, like your trade show prompt? And I say, yes, I want it to be my itinerary prompt. Now I change the prompt because I want you to see how it works. I said, I've decided to drive from Hartford, Connecticut to Chicago, Illinois. I would like to stop somewhere in between for one night, but would like to do something physical when there. After driving that long, I want to get out, stretch my legs, breathe in some fresh air. Can you change the itinerary? And it comes back and it says, got it. It's saying Chicago outdoor itinerary stopover, drive midway. It's saying, tells me what time I should depart Hartford at 7 a.m. I arrive in Cleveland, Ohio, which is eight and a half hour ride, which that seems like a great place to get out, stretch my legs. It tells me about the national park, where I can go, places where I can go hiking. In the evening, it tells me where I could possibly stay, either in Cleveland or in nearby Independence. And dinner, there's a local spot called the Great Lakes Brewing Company, giving me all suggestions on where I can stay, but it is that easy for you to put that in. It then goes in and finishes up with the rest of the days being in Chicago like we saw it before. 
now I say, when I say, and so now I'm giving it kind of some coding, if you want to call it, that's a very loose term, some engineering here. When I say Hartford comma zero, greater than dot, 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 one, dot, 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 there, Chicago, five, I mean, I will stay in Hartford no days. I don't need to spend time sightseeing. I live near there. Then I will make two stops. That's the dot, 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 and the dot, dot, dot. I'm asking them to determine where I should stop. I'm going to stay in each of those locations for one day before I continue on to Chicago for five days. From that information that I gave it, it comes back. And again, it's now telling me to leave Hartford at 630. I am going to drive to, um, where are we going here? State College, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm going to stay the first night. The second night, we're going to drive on to Cleveland, Ohio, where we're going to stop. Again, it gives us afternoon activities, dinner reservations, where I should stay, and possible hotel. And then I go on to Chicago. This is now all set. It's stored in there. Save those details as my travel itinerary prompt. It's saving it there. Again, the prompt is all in there. It understands now that if I have a location, a comma, and a number, that means I'm going to stay five days in Chicago, one day in New York. It tells you every place to go. The last prompt I wanted to show you, I put in here, Burlington, Vermont, comma two. I'm going to stay in Burlington for two days. Then I'm going to go to second place. I don't know where it is. I'm looking for a suggestion from chat. I'm going to stay there for two days before I go on to South Salem, New York, and I stay there for two days. I am only putting in, now that it is stored, my itinerary prompt, this is all I have to type in here. I type that in, I hit reply, return, and here we go. I get a six-day outdoor itinerary, Burlington, and it goes on in Burlington, to Lake Placid, the afternoon hike, the High Falls Gorge or kayak on Mirror Lake. It tells me places that I could stay on Mirror Lake, which is nice, what to pack. Then the Lake Placid Adventures, it gives me another Cascade Mountain Trail where I can go for 4.8 miles. Afternoon, the Olympic Sports Complex, try bobsledding. That sounds exciting, maybe I shall. And then you go on to Lake Placid, Hudson, New York, Hudson Outdoor Day, and then from Hudson to South Salem. You just have to put in your starting point, your ending point, and maybe you don't even put the ending point. You could tell it to pick a destination so many hours away from your starting point, and it'll start to give you a location. This itinerary is good for your team, again, if they're traveling to see different clients and they maybe need places to stay, but you also want your team to get out, exercise a little bit. So you mention maybe a hike where they can go or a mountain they can climb. You can put all that in there and it'll give them that itinerary prompt that they can utilize, you can utilize, but everyone is only putting in that one line. This is extremely easy. This will save you a ton of time in helping you get the same results, but faster and keeping you all universal. This is just a quick overview of some of the prompts you can set up for your organization to save you time. We can get very intricate on these prompts. I have some of them. I didn't wanna do that here because I also don't wanna alienate the people who say, I don't wanna get on chat GPT. I don't wanna learn another technology, please. It is just talking. All you're doing is talking, so you really don't have to learn any technology. Yes, here it got a little bit more intricate as we are working on these prompts, but you don't even have to go like that if you don't want to. I just wanted to show you the capabilities of what you could utilize in-house and save those prompts to just get work done in a shorter time period. If you have any questions or like to talk to me about specific prompts you would like to design, please feel free to reach out to me at dpeterson at worldinnovators.com. In the meantime, go check out that podcast about prompt engineering. We have to go embrace it. Have a great day. Bye.